All right, so in this short video, I wanna talk about beliefs and trauma, and specifically the concept of post-traumatic growth. Now, it is a buzzword that's been going around lately. You'll hear it on radio ads, you'll uh, maybe read about it in the newspapers. I actually came across it by listening to a report on a Seattle Seahawks football player who had been a soldier. The whole idea of post-traumatic growth is that when the trauma hits and beliefs get shattered and things change, that it isn't a life sentence, we're not stuck with PTSD forever, but that the whole growth process can be triggered if the healing is allowed to take place. Now, there's an analogy that's really good. I like it. It comes from a book called What Doesn't Kill You, <laughs> right? It's a, obviously a trauma book. And it's the analogy of the broken vase. So in this analogy, somebody who doesn't have kids <laughs> has a very expensive, uh, valuable vase in a place in their home, right? People come look at it and they think it's awesome. And, but it accidentally gets knocked over, hits the floor, smashes into a, a, you know, a ton of pieces. It's not, I mean, you can't put it back together, right? You obviously can't glue it back together and say, oh, look at my expensive vase that's glued back together, right? It's just, it's just not the same anymore. And that's the point. When a trauma hits, it can shatter our beliefs. It can shatter our perceptions. It can, it can drastically shift the way that we see ourselves, other people, the future around us. It can affect us physically, right? The bottom line is things are not the same anymore. And if we can really be honest with ourselves, things are never going to be the same anymore. But it doesn't mean that there's no hope. And it doesn't mean that things are ruined. And it doesn't mean that we can't pick up the pieces and move on. It gives you kind of a, kind of a decision point in life where, in this analogy, right, you can sweep up the pieces of this really expensive piece of artwork and just chuck it in the trash because it's broken. Or, as the analogy goes, you can take these pieces and turn it into something else into a mosaic, into some kind of artwork that is definitely not going to be the same anymore, but it still has that, that the same valuable pieces of, of clay or pottery or whatever that thing is made of, right? And it's still beautiful. We can make something beautiful out of it, but it's not going to be the same. And in many ways, um, working with these beliefs, the first thing that has to happen is an acceptance that things are never going to be the same anymore. I remember one time sitting with a, a really traumatized young man who was in the military and he would sit there rocking in my office going, you know, I just wish I could be the person I was before all this happened, right? I just wish I could go back and, and, and things could be the same. And that's what he just kept repeating over and over again. And that's the one thing that when trauma hits our lives, that can't happen. We can't ever unexperience something that really shakes us up but we can heal from it. But even if we do heal from it, things aren't ever going to be exactly the same as they were. You know, life changes all the time, but it's these big changes sometimes that just keep us stuck. And so if you have something where it's like, I've never been the same since, in one way, is that, that can be a signal like, okay, that's something to work on. And in other ways, or in another way, that's actually true. Things probably won't ever be exactly the same but they can still be really good. We can still make something beautiful out of our lives, right? We can, people, people we know can make beautiful things out of, out of uh, the adversity that comes their way. Sometimes just realizing there's, a, there's something called post-traumatic growth makes you go, oh my gosh, of course, right? This isn't a life sentence. I, you know, a lot of times PTSD nowadays is talked about as something that, well, you're gonna have it for the rest of your life. Well, that trauma will exist, right? We can't go back and change the past, but we can heal from it enough to where the symptoms of PTSD or trauma, you know, they might come back occasionally, but they don't have to alter the, the course of our life forever. They don't have to be our new normal necessarily. We just got to realize that, that options exist. So anyways, there's, there's a lot more that can be talked about that and we will in, in, in the classes and so forth. I just wanted to make sure I got this uh, down on video as I was thinking about it today. Thanks, and I'll talk to you guys later.